Good day, everyone. I want to talk about Job. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feared God and experienced evil? God trusted Job. He trusted him. He said, Job is the man that feared God and hates evil. That's why the devil now saw because of everything. You know, has, devil has, I mean, Job has lost everything he had, including all his children, all his mansion, vehicle, everything he had. He lost everything. Job now took the advantage to go and, 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 and put the uh, Job down. The God said, Job is an upright man. There is none like him in the earth. A perfect and upright man. None that, uh, I mean, a man, the one that feared God and hates evil. Job now decided to go and tempt, uh, 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 I mean, the devil now decided to go and tempt Job. Because God trusted Job, he knew that Job can never fail. He now gave them the chance to go and tell him, but he said he should not touch his soul. The devil was happy, thinking that Job would disappoint God, thinking that Job would fail, thinking that the that, uh, devil, thinking that Job would put shame upon God. But God knew Job very well. You know, Job is an upright man. A man that feared God in any condition, Job can never fear, can never fail him. He now gave the chance, eh? go and tempt him because God knows fully well that Job can never disappoint him. God commanded Job's character and faithfulness. He knew Job's faith and faithfulness. He knew Job's faith would not crumble. You know, Job will never fail. His faith will not crumble. That's why that he lost everything. You know, Job can never disappoint him. That's why God allowed the devil to go and tempt him. No matter the hardship placed upon him, Job's devotion provides an excellent. Yes, the devotion provides an excellent. In any condition, in any trouble, in any hardship, in temptation, troubles and trials, the devil tried to put Job down. But Job did not say because of all that troubles around him, that it was all the challenges. He did not say because of that and disappoint God. No, he stood firm. He refused to disappoint God. The devil went there and tried all he could. But Job won. <sighs> Victory belongs to God. Yes. Job won. He did not disappoint God. He stand firm. He did not allow any trouble to pull him down. Unlike we human beings, many of us, any little thing starts speaking evil against God. God, why did you allow this to happen? Hey, is this only me? See, unbelievers are making it. Why children of God are not making it? But Job did not say that. He stood firm. He stood his ground. Some people, they will not have food to eat. They will start saying, ah, God, I'm serving you. All this, so I don't have anything to eat. My children are crying. This and this and this and that. At the end, if some women, they will start looking outside, either to go and start flirting, sleeping with men, or start sailing, or gossiping in order to find favor from people in a wrong way. But Job did not do that. Why some men, when things happen to them like that, they will backslide. They say God has forgotten them. They don't know that those things are the things that God used to try them. They will backslide. So then we will start drinking, getting drunk. So we will start smoking. They say they will drink because they want to forget their sorrows. They don't know they are adding more sorrows to their sorrows. Drinking and getting drunk. It's adding sorrow upon your sorrow because when all those things disappear from your face, 
you start thinking everything will come double double the pains will increase and jesus god will never be with you know the presence of god can really you know drive it out because god hates sin all those things are sin for god drunkenness god hates it all the smoking god hates it the presence of god is what to push away and you're thinking that they may you know you are trying to do well, do yourself well you don't know you're putting yourself into more trouble that's why everything i've never seen somebody on earth that something such a thing happened to he lost their children lost everything that he acquired in this world job he was a rich man then this is not that you say uh, you don't have anything before uh, what will, where will he be why will you they know be sad or where will he you know get angry or why will he this? but he was a very rich man he had everything all his cattle all his sheep everything from a to z perish and the wife they will use the wives to come and tempt him he said no should i get anything good from god without getting a good and bad god is in god's hands god allowed those bad ones to come to tempt us to try us and some of them when you come to try us we we'll just fail yakata there's the opportunity to talk against god but job did not do that job stand stood firm they would try all he could the wife said can't you cause god and die can you see woman, woman uh, mentality can't you cause god and die Human mentality. If he calls God and die, where will he be? That's what the woman not even think of. So because he was so angry with God. He said, can't you cause God and die? If he calls God and die, where will he be? It will be the worst. The pain will even it will be double, 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 double. Everlasting condemnation. Whether everlasting condemnation, condemnation or not, the Job don't want to fear God because he put his trust in God. You know that everything that God knows how to replenish everything that he lost. But it's why I want to put him down. If had he been Job caused God and died, where will Job be? That trouble that he was facing in this world, it could have been even double in hell. Because God's presence will never be with him if he kill himself. Because you know he cannot create, he cannot create life. God, I give it to life. Why would you take away your life by yourself with your own hand? But you get God angry. But Job said, No, no matter what, in any condition, I have to stand firm. I have to put my, I put my trust, in, trust in God. My hope and faith is in Him. I will never disappoint Him. He is my Father. My Redeemer, the Advocate of the Righteous. He's our mouthpiece. In any trouble, he's always coming to help us out. Job understood God very well. He read his Bible very well. That's why he understands God very well. When the devil came with all those temptations, he understand that the devil had come to tempt him because of what he was passing through. He said, no way. There's no way for you. Mm -mm. I said, no. It's too fair. At the end, he won. Hmm. Example of how should prioritize our work with the Lord. We will nurture our relationship relationship with God because it is essential to desire His will for our lives. The will of God is to give us peace and our expectation. Yes. Job know that when all those troubles and trials go, that he able to be settled. He did not even have any negative in, uh, thoughts. Had he had negative thoughts, they could have used that, that negative thought to deal with him. But he refused to have the negative thoughts. He still believed that God would do it for him. He still believed that even if he lost everything, eternal life is his portion. At times I pray God. Any day you say, see, you see, you see that I'm not, I'm perfect. There's no single sin in my, my life. Please, now where am I? Take me, let me go, and leave this world. I'm sure that Job had that uh, thought in, his, in, in him. That's why he said, in any condition, even if I lost everything, even including his life, because you know, even if he lost his life, he will make heaven, because he's an, uh, he's an upright man. He's always he's, he's doing everything excellent for God. He said, 
dead or alive, I will serve this God. Dead or alive, I will live for him. Dead or alive, I will make him happy. And he made God happy. God was rejoicing. Oh, this is my servant. I know it. I know he will not disappoint me. And of a truth, Job did not disappoint God. God was so happy. We will ask him to enlighten us to behaviors and sinful action we need to remove from our lives. We need to, ah, there is it. We will ask him to enlighten us to behaviors and sinful action we need to remove from our lives so we may be productive steward of faith. Sinful action, sinful action, sinful action. Sinful action, we we'll ask him to move it from our hearts, from our life. Sinful, sinful action. Stealing is sinful action. Bitterness, anger, hatred, lust after one another. Gossiping is a sinful action. Stealing, cheating, fornication, adultery. Homosexual, lesbianism, they are sinful action. God hates it. When we say we are children of God and we have all those thoughts in our hearts, devil can use that thought and come and take over your, your, your mind. He can use any little sin. Any, no sin is little, but we call it little. We call lies little. That lie is called little. Devil can use it to destroy your life. Because God hates anything sin. He hates it. 99 and a half minus half is equal to zero. We need to be upright every time. Do his will. Keep his commandments. God so much loves us. That's why he died. Dev, devil tried all he could to put a uh, uh, job down. Job said, No, I know my redeemer lives. I know that my redeemer lives. I know he's there for me. Oh, I know when he will come, the whole world shall know that my redeemer lives. When he will arise and set me free and fight my battle, the whole world will know that my redeemer lives. He lives forevermore. He can never die. Forever and ever. Forever you will be Dalam upon the throne I gladly buy on my knee To worship you Lord Forever he will be the Lamb upon the throne I gladly buy on my knee To worship him I know my redeemer lived. That's what Job said. You know that God is al was alive when he was suffering. God was alive. And you know that God will still see him through. And of a truth, God saw him through. All the cattle, all the mansion, all everything he had. God restored everything. When the wife said, You should cause God and die, why not cause him? Job said, I will not curse him. Good and bad. Eh? It's in God's hand. He that give it, know how to take. He that take it, know how to give back. <sighs> That's what at times our fellow men be used to, you know, make us to do what you don't know, you know, what you don't even have in mind of doing. Deceive. Deceive us to sin against God. When we don't even have that in mind. A friend can make a friend to, to change from good to bad. Advice, good, bad advice. A woman can come to a fellow woman, a woman say, ah, ah, this one here like this. Can't you go and make a boyfriend to get, you know, you see somebody that will, you know, give you what you want. Who is this your husband that doesn't even care about you? At that point, you start thinking of evil. You start imagining, imagine how you get what you want. Yes, no. You start thinking, who will you go and meet? When any man single, any bam, hey! Because of what? Because of what you get. 
and you forget that you're a child of God. You call yourself a child of God. Remember that if, you, if God, uh, if, uh, remember that if God is not, if, as you're not seeing God physical, God is there watching you. you. Go and say yourself, say yourself, just to get what you eat. Why some men, even women, before if a woman, a man or woman still, they will consider the woman say women cannot do this. But now women, they, are, <laughs> they will be the one to even lead them to go and steal. So now, some of them, whether man or woman, they will go and steal because what they are getting, they are no more getting it. And they want to be like Mr. A or Mr. B. They start trying all they could to make it by all means. And they forget that at the point of looking for a way to make it by all means, they can lose their life. Many went to steal and they could not come back. What would they give, tell God that happened to them? You cannot think about eternal life. When you acquire everything in this world and you not even uh, acknowledge your creator, I'm so sad, will also be at the end. Job said, no matter what, in any condition, I will never fear this my father. I will never fear him, my creator, my maker, my redeemer, the advocate of the righteous. He speak for me. Even when devil, when devil went to tempt him, you know that God would be there helping him, saying true. And of the truth, because he's an upright man, because he believes strong in God, he did not fear God. Leave it. So what I want to tell you now is like that. Ask God to get, to to enlighten you, your behavior, and sinful action. We need to remove from our lives simple sinful action. Don't let anybody to come near you. If you are stealing, drop that stealing because the devil can use a single a sin that you call single, a little sin. As a child of God, you are. You say you repented. You don't smoke. You don't cheat, you don't fornicate, but you only lie and lie. Let me tell you, that lie, you say you can lie, you can use that lie to pull you down. And you can use that lie to mess you up. Any little sin, God hates it. And that sin you call little, it's not little before God. All sins are equal. You say, some say they smoke, they don't fornicate. Why some say they fornicate, they don't smoke. Why some say they can lie, but they don't cheat. Some say they don't steal, they don't do this, they can be told, they can do no sin is small no sin is big all sins are equal they are all big before god god hates it not like a, a, a little sin before god if you don't see good if you don't fornicate good if you don't lie good but don't say you don't do all this thing but it's only one thing you do that one thing you do they can use it to mess your life up because he's always looking for one thing you use to come in he knows that he cannot use anything to come in to to tempt the devil I mean to tempt uh, Job. You only see the things that Job was passing through. You know that Job is an upright man. He cannot use say, ah, Job can drink, Job can lie down, or use it to come and tempt Job. No, he did not see anything to tempt Job. Job because of he saw that Job has lost everything. He now used the advantage. Say, ah, this one use this was flower and get him. And because Job is always upright, and God, the spirit of God is always with him. When the spirit of God is always with you. He will help you out. Even if you want to sin against him, that's what to remind you, my daughter, my son. Remember. And you sit up. So because Spirit of God was with Job, devil not say because of the word Job was passing through. I say, aha, he will get Job now. He, God said, okay. Go, but don't touch his soul. And God trusts Job because you no know, Job is an upright man. I said, go. And devil now went and tried all he could. He could he, he couldn't get there, Job. And Job, the devil now used Job's wife to put Job down. Say, ah, this look at you. Can't you cause God and die? Can't you cause God and die? Okay, if you cause God and die, where will he go? That's what human beings, that's what human, they're supposed to think of. Don't think about what you get now and forget to, tomorrow. No. If you cause God and die, where will your soul be? You do not think about that. It's not the, the worst. Cause God and die. Where will it be? It will be the worst. The punishment will increase. The pains will increase. 
He said it will be double, double, double. You will regret. You will, you know, pray that you should come back to the world, even if you don't have anything at all, at all, at all. You better remain without anything. Because when you be in hell, in pain, in pains, in agony, you will say, ah, you better you are alive. I even stay hungry. That for you to go to that hell, the woman not even take up that. He said, why can't you cause God and die? Ah, ah. It's not the worst. But Job said, no. I know that my Redeemer lived. I know he's not far from me. I know where he will arise. The whole world will know that my Redeemer lived. And what it said came to pass. God looked at him and said, oh, my son. My son, Job. Oh, my God. You have made me proud. You did not fear me. He has shown me that you really love me. God stepped in. He stepped in and held Job out. And every single thing that Job lost was returned in hundredfold, double double. Ah! This great God, you are great. Merciful Father, the ultimate Father, the great man of war, he that was and, and is to come. He came back and said, Job, my son, well done. I have done so well. God bless him. And returned everything that he lost. He returned them double, 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 double. If Job lost like a hundred, uh, let me just say like 10 sheep or goats or any animal, let me just say 10 or 20, they God returned it back a million times. All the children, everything he lost. He gets everything, even better than the one that he lost before. He got beautiful children, beautiful all the things, all the cattle, everything, double, double, even more beautiful, bigger than the ones he lost uh, before. That is God for you. That is God for you, what he can do. Please don't lose hope in any condition. I know it's not easy. We pass through many things, through difficulties. Temptation, troubles, and trials. As I'm here now, I know what I'm passing through. And it cannot put me down. It cannot make me not to serve my God. I'll continue to put my faith in Him. Don't say because of a, a, a one's house, you don't have a, a place where you stay. Because of that, start cursing God or start going sleeping around to get money to get the house. That would be the worst, though. Don't say because you don't have husband, your age, you're getting old. And because of that, you call yourself, a, because a, as a child of God, you say, ah, this God, why now? All my mates have gotten married. Why am I still single? Why now? Because of that, start going around looking for a man you put your head, you hang your neck. At the end, you start sleeping with a man, a, 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 with a, a man or a man or something like that to get pregnant. You start to use that pregnancy to hold the person ransom. That pregnancy can cause trouble. The man may deny you. At the end, you rub your shit on your face. The man can tell you. He will call you, darling, baby. Uh, uh, they will call you, baby, enter. Baby, how are you? I love you more than their mother. They love you more than their father. But when the time comes, you will see that they hate you more than every other person. Because of what you want, they will now use that advantage to step into your heart. Can't you go and follow man and get belly? Carry belly for the man. Eh? Oh, carry belly. The man will give you belly. Yeah, go, 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 go. Because of that belly, the man will marry you. And you forget that you're a child of God. You go looking for a man to hang. The man will come because of the one to satisfy themselves. And you think that they love you. Because of the one to satisfy themselves. You think that they love you. No way. They don't love you. They want to satisfy themselves. You know, baby, come. Baby, enter. You know, <laughs> he enter. I love you, Pastor Mama. I love you, Pastor Papa. He enter that motor. They sweet you. After that, we eventually got what you wanted. At the end, that man may disappoint you. By even push you out of the house. Push out of the house and get out. He will mess you around. The devil will make jest of you. You start crying. You start crying. And you cannot force man to demand to marry you because he did not force you. You are the one that meet him with, with your legs. 
I wonder why some ladies they will be forcing man to marry. Hey, now you give my picking belly. Hey, you must marry him. Why? The, the man forced the person. When they give devil chance to rule their life, what do you expect? When you give devil chance to rule your life, what do you expect? His mission is to kill, destroy, and to devour. To steal. That is the devil's mission. He will call me and deceive you. And you obey him. At the end, you have yourself to blame. That man will just kick you out. Don't think that uh, if anything that works for Mr. A will work for Mr. B. Some people go at the end, the man marry them. And your own may not work that way. Even if the man marry them, they are, they, are, they are sinners. Unless they repent from their sins. God show them mercy. Be careful. Don't let anything pull you down. This is of God. I could remember a sister. So powerful in the Lord. Anywhere he goes, all the people that are possessed will be falling. Falling, 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 falling. But something pulled her down. She was looking for a job. A brother that has company. Now, uh, you know, she went to meet the brother, the man that had the company. That, you know, and she was looking for a job. The man now asked her that she should give, you know, that he want to sleep with her. She want to, you know, have a stupidity with her. The lady said no. But at the end, let have a second thought. So that, ah, how will she get this job if she don't do what the man said she do? He hear me and hear me where my people. The man said he wants to sleep with the lady before he give the lady job. The lady was like, the lady said no. Later, the lady now have a, had a second thought. Ah, how will she get this work if he not do what the man said she do? This lady now went back to the man and said that she accepted. This lady was very strong in the laws, very strong. Somebody that when, when she's passing, you see people that are possessed will be falling. So very anointed, anointed child of God. But because of what, because of work, because of what we eat, what she will lay her hand upon, she sold her birthright. According to, as a, 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 a sold her his birthright because of porridge. So this, this her sister sold her birthright by giving herself to that man. Our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You know, she now sold herself to that man. That man now slept with her. You know, devil now, when you want to get someone, any little thing. <laughs> All unbelievers will do as they like, they will go free. But that one that called himself or herself a child of God, they will always target them. Target them. Looking for one another to hold them ransom. So this lady now gave herself to the man to sleep with her because of the job. But after sleeping with that man, she got pregnant. One touch. Some people go and go free. But this lady, because of the anointing, anointing in her, they want to mess her up. They want to mess her up. And they really mess her up. She got pregnant. You know, as I, you know, my church, do they used to do, give person suspension. They gave this lady suspension. You know, take her everywhere because... People could not believe what they heard. After the suspension, this lady now, out of shy, or what people may say, you know when devil block people's ear or memory, they will not think right. They will think it's zigzags. Anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. Anyhow that can put them to trouble forever. This lady, let's for me, I know it's not easy. I could have just give birth to that baby. Do you know what happened, my people? She went to abort that baby. After everybody had heard about it, she never even think or say, ah, people have known about uh, this uh, pregnancy. Why must I go abort it? Let me give birth to this baby. Or the baby is not even good to abort because it's a child created by God. She's not the only uh, the giver of the life. God gave the life. No. It's hard to stay and face the shame. I still make amendments repent come back to god god will still accept her and change her and still come to her use her mightily again but devil deceive her and feed her mind because she was into sin 
devil feeds her her mind. Go on about it. Go on about it. Go on about it. She now went to abort the baby. At the process, she died. And this process, she gave up the. You know, she, that was the end of her life. Hey, what will she take God? What will she tell God that happened to her? Hey, you can say never have gotten what he wanted. How would the sister escape that one again? There's no way. Because life was involved. She died. She gave up. You know, that was her end in this life. I wonder what they will do to her. I wonder. I wonder. As a woman I am, I know it's not easy. It's not easy. As a woman I am, since people have already know, even people don't even know, I don't mind, I'll keep it. You may say it's because of I'm not the one that it happened to. Eh, everybody has the way they live their life. And people have the way they think, think, they reason things. You can reason that. This life wants to go and, and, and spoil and waste. You are not the creator. And if you go to waste it, what if I all about it if you die? And if you die, where will you be? And people have already know why you're going to abort it. Whether they know or not. But this one is that people have already know what will you give as an excuse. Even if you abort the baby, and people will still know that you aborted the baby. Why not carry the baby and give birth to that baby? That baby don't know what that baby will be tomorrow. Either that baby will be a great man of God that will save many souls in this world. If that baby will be the best out of all your children you'll have later. Or out of everybody in your family. Or in the whole world, maybe they, somebody that people know as a great man of God. Or what to do. That baby you want to go and abort. Because of what people may say. But at the end, she could not make it. That was her end. My people, this is not just a, 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 a story. It happened real. She not end up, ended her life. You can see devil has a achieve uh, his purpose in her life then will be happy you know that hair fire then is happy she, he's trying all he could to win souls to that hair fire want people to go to hell with him because he's not happy people that die in sins you know he, he will blame them because they have second chance they would not even have second chance like we he don't have second chance at all why not to stand strong and wait upon God. Sister, why not to stand strong and wait upon God? Brothers, why not to stand strong and wait upon God for that job opportunity you're looking for? For that business you're looking for? For that money you're looking for? For that child? Some people are going to meet a little doctor to get, um, you know, to get babies in the wrong way. Devil, what will give you? What do you expect from devil? He's give and take. That's his own. He give you right hand and collect with left hand. What do you expect him to do? Give with right hand and, and collect with left hand. Any gain there? No gain. Children that will give you headache. That will not respect you. That will even live a life that you will regret ever having them in your life. Why not wait upon God? Why not stand strong? Why not keep yourself upright? So when they will come, you will not say anything to step in. Because sin demarcates us from God. And when sin demarcates us from God, they will have every opportunity to step in and deal with whoever I want to deal with. That is, that's what you call it. Before God, it's not little. I can see some parents, they will say, I am my child, my child. Hey, that man is coming. When he comes, tell him to knock around. While you are inside, what are you teaching your children? You are inside, tell your child, tell him, I'm not around. These children that when they lie, say, Why be there? Why do you lie? Why do you lie? Why do you lie? Shut up. Why do you lie? You beat them and do anything I want to do to them. But you, you are telling them to lie. What are you teaching them? And you call yourself a child of God. And at that process, devil can use under because he has seen, seen a sin. He has seen sin in you. He can put under thought in you for you to teach them more bad thing again. Devil, because of sin, devil has a strong hope that he sin. Invite them into people's life. That sin of telling children to lie. Yeah, inside, he said they should lie and they're not around. God, they will say, oh, we tell them so. You will not bring another lie again. Or another thing that will make you, the another thing that will make him happy. That will make God angry with you. He said, what? Again. You not do another one again. 
I don't lie again. And at that point, I said, these children, you are teaching them how to lie. And when they lie to me, they say, why did you lie? Or if I beating them, they say, hey, mother, why are you beating the children? Hey, they lie. I hate lies. Why do you say you hate lies? I hate not what I told them to Tell them how to lie. Don't let them use any single sin to step into your life. Because sin demarcates us from God. Don't let sin of fornicator to demarcate you from God. Remember that our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. When you mess yourself around, the Spirit of God will disappear from you. Keep yourself holy. Sisters, no matter your age, it's better you men, you better remain single and go to heaven than for me to be married and go to hell. Some people they are in marriage today, they are suffering, they are even crying how to come out. Why some day we end up end up in grave because of husband and uh, because they marry. Some people marry because other people have married. Ah, my friend has gotten married, has two children, they have four children. Ah, their children are in university. Ah, look at me, I'm not married. You say because of that, you go and find a man that you put, you hang. At the end, you regret it. You say, ah, she be uh, uh, Mr. Uh, sister A have done it, and at the end, brother married the sister A, and you want to go and do your own. <laughs> All fingers are not equal. Low. What another person do and survive, you may do it, may not survive it. Let live example life like Job. Job is upright man. A man that has good character that God can recommend. His faithfulness, character and faithfulness. He knew Job's faith would not crumble. Hey, oh, what the man? Oh God. He knew that faith, Job's faith cannot crumble. Some mother know their children what they can do. You go to the church, say, ah, I know this man share what he can do. They will tell you story of their what their children can do. That's what God did for Job now. You God know what Job can do. And God knows that Job can never fail him. That's why he then said, then you should go and tempt him. I know that Job can never, 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 never disappoint him. And now at the end, Job is not disappointing. Mothers, some mothers know, some mothers that put eye in their children, that put their mind in their children, because some mothers, once they get bad, they will not even bother, it's their business, they will know. But some mothers that care about their children, that know, follow their children, they know who is who. Who can do this, who can do that, who can say no to this, who can do say no to that. Yes. Yes. Some mothers are like that. That's someone that don't even know much about their children. So God know much about Job. That's why he know, say devil, don't touch his soul. Because you know that devil will go there and do uh, go extra mile. He said, Don't touch his soul. But you can do whatever you want to do. Don't touch his soul. And devil try all good, thinking that he will he will get Job. He did not get Job. Because God knows what Job can do. You know that Job is so faithful to him. Upright man has no sin in him. No sin that will attract devil to his heart. Because that devil can take any sin because of a one particular sin and do undo the life of uh, children of God. But the devil did not get that, you know, that, 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 that point. He just going to try Job because of what, because of the things that Job had lost. Thinking that Job will just fail God and accept it for him to go and destroy the remaining one. Many, many of us don't know the devil, the devil is coming to destroy everything we have. We have. They think that devil will just come and you know they think that if you want to, want to do something that what they want to do against god may be the solution to their problem they will not know that that's what they want to do that if they feel the solution to their problem may be the worst that will lead them to the worst trouble but job did not fear god he said i know my redeemer live it he live it forever they will try not get him god now step in ha! This is my son. Eh? This is my son. This is my son. I was so happy with Job. So happy with Job. He restored everything abundantly, abundant, abundant for Job. Today we can talk about Job. We can talk about his faithfulness. We can talk about uh, his, uh, you know, his good character. We can talk about that is everything. Uh, his priority, everything about him. We can talk about it today. Is that not a good example? It's recommendable, yes. His character is recommendable. You should ask God to give us the grace. Give us the grace to live a holy life. Give us the grace to live a life that will not attract devil to come in, in and uh, take God through of our life. You should give us the grace to serve him to the end. That's our prayers. 
We want to make heaven at last. We want to make heaven at last. We want to make heaven at last. Yes. So, thank you everyone that listened. So he said, Dear Lord, please forgive our sinful nature and help us make our Dear Lord, please forgive us. Forgive our sinful nature and help us make our relationship a priority. We desire your will above anything else in Jesus' name. Pray this prayer. Dear Lord, please forgive our sins. Please forgive our sinful nature and help us make our relationship, relationship help us make our relationship a priority we desire. Dear Lord, please forgive our sinful nature and help us make our relationship a priority. We desire your will above anything else in the mighty name of jesus amen my dear people we have prayed and may god help us may god help us may god help us may god help us and forgive our sinful nature and help us make our priority help us make our relationship a priority we desire your will above anything else we desire the will of god above any other thing we desire the will of god we desire the will of god we all we, all we pray is that god should give us the grace to give the commandment he should give us the grace to start with all our heart he should give us the grace to stand to win the devil anytime they come to tempt us he should give us the grace and he should not allow any temptation that's bigger than us to come to us he has already promised that he will never allow any temptation that's bigger than us to come to us that when they come, even the, when temptation come, that is give us a way of escape. We pray God should give us grace and strengthen us, empower us, and uh, energize us, O Lord. We pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Heavenly Father, dear Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray, dear Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my King. Thank you for everything you have done. Blessed be the Holy Name, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. This is done. Oh.